Now the moment where we have NPC message, it probably is clear that obviously we should choose NPC as a character type to actually use that. But we could leave a little bit more of an instruction in the header there. So where it says NPC message, we also say um, only if NPC is selected. Okay, just to make it uh, clearer. There we go. Okay, so now we've got uh, a bit of a message there. What if we wanted more of a uh, divider between this NPC message and choose character? Well, we can actually use, um, let's say, um, just after this, choose character where we've got our space of 20 just before that we can actually put in another header okay so we say header and then inside of here we can just put in some kind of a graphical separator that might be for example a line like this or what I like to do is a line like this okay and then if I save that, now we can kind of see that there's a very visible line there. And if, if we go beyond it, it doesn't kind of extend down, if you like. It sort of just cuts it off. And now we've got this um, really obvious kind of disconnection between this and this. So you can use that if you like. Now let's imagine, for example, that copied this and just after the health there you can put it before the choose character as well and now you can definitely see the different sections uh, and you can put anything in there you know you don't have to use that particular design let's see what it would look like if it was just uh, dashes for example which is just your minus key does need to be, uh, be in the middle of quotation marks though because it's a string okay so you can use something like that I've seen that quite a few times whereby it separates one section out from another section all right just makes it a little bit easier to read